Uh, folks, just a reminder. Uh, for, oh, oh, let's play that clip. I want to play that clip before we go um, as a way of reminding you what's going to happen this evening on the show. Um, here is uh, this is CNN. Is this that? Who is that dude? That's not. Uh, it's Avalon. Yeah. Jeez, that guy has been around for a long time. A lot of different incarnations. You no, know, what's his? I actually know he where this guy got his start. He used to work from Bloomberg for Bloomberg. Giuliani, Giuliani. speechwriter. He was Giuliani speechwriter, and then Sleazoid. he migrated into uh, migrated into being one of those guys uh, like in the in the early aughts, I think, who was like um, sort of uh, a centrist. Like he like he was heavily branded as a centrist. Oh really? Is that right? Oh, they're be- oh they're beloved across. Wait, which aisle are they? Are they the, not the on the same aisle? aisle? Center, right. <laughs> center right there. They're loved between the center right and the center writer. I don't totally hate gay people, and we both support cutting capital gains. It's a really no. It's not. I don't totally hate gay people. It's like I like the gay people I know in my own life. Right. But generally speaking, I'm not going to go to bat. Or more like gay have. people are fine. Black people are terrifying. Terrifi- yeah. Cut the capital gains rate. Uh, but and nevertheless, he's uh, been reborn uh, as he, a, a CNN. He seems like more than a contributor here. He seems. He like, does the reality checks. Oh, he do- oh. <laughs> thank you. We needed that. Here's a reality check for you tonight. You'd think it's just the State of the Union, but it's something else. Welcome to Super Bowl for policy wonks. The State of the Union is here. And tonight, President Trump will Pause it for his- one second. <laughs> it's I, already I so imagine bad. there's a lot of you who have just tried to commit suicide after you. <laughs> but just to hang in there, it gets worse. Maybe he was saying like the Super Bowl was boring this year. I didn't find Giving him way too much credit. I didn't oh, yeah, find no, the uh, Super Bowl boring. I thought it was pretty exciting. Uh, and I love the way that it finished. But continue. Welcome to Super Bowl for Policy Wonks. The State of the Union is here. And tonight, President Trump will offer his scripted vision of governing in a constitutionally mandated report to Congress. Now, he enters the arena with a robust economy, but barrel-scraping approval rating, fresh off the longest government shutdown in history. What's worse, a new CNN poll shows that 43% of Americans say the federal government's doing the worst job of governing in their lifetime. But there's always a chance that a strong speech could leave analysts saying that tonight, was the night that Donald Trump finally became president. <laughs> I like how he he, Hell yeah, dude. he he one steps that away from him, right? He doesn't say a good speech could be uh, the night the president finally becomes president. He instead says that analysts could say that. Yeah, yeah. That's the classic some say. I'm not some saying, say some I could say. become president tonight. Some, say I could some become people are saying I could be president tonight. Tonight's some the night people are I could become it. president. Well, analysts can be gullible, so that maybe he's kid right. got and bullied and because his last name was Trump. It. I've never felt more just a vis. What's that feeling where someone else's pain becomes your pain? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that before. But this kid. He's got this beautiful last name. Beautiful, beautiful last, name. last name. And they're mocking him. Can't be best. It just makes me feel it. What's that feeling in your stomach where you feel a concern for another <laughs> human being? <laughs> I've heard people describe it to me. It's not hunger. Um, it's not hunger. It's not, it's not, I'm not hangry either. It feels, feels yeah, like. I'll, I'll tell you what's going to be fascinating. It's what they said Schindler's List was like, but I fell asleep five minutes in. I'll tell you what's going to be fascinating. And I'll be probably good. repeat myself before the thing, but um, he, if he does try to do to to make this like uh, about like I want the country to come together and I want to reach you know uh, put an olive branch out the Nancy Pelosi, it's going to be fascinating to see. And his point, his his approval rating will move on that. But it's going to be, it is going to be a function of just how deluded and absent the American public is to see how far up it moves. And that's another segment of blaming the electorate. I got, I got another. I got another one of those segments coming right up. All I'm doing now is just I'm writing the book Tonight, in my head. Tonight, analysts say it might move the needle, and they could be right. But that's because you never bet against the stupidity lack of informedness and general ignorance of the american people i i, I that, that is not 
that is not it. It's it is far more active. It's not ignorant. I'm sorry. They're if robustly you watch, stupid. It's just the desperate, desperate desire to have things uh, to have to be living in a a in right. a delusion. Right. And that I mean, because uh, honestly, like you you have to be. I can understand why people support him because there are, um, you know, hateful racist types out there who uh, feel they're under siege. What I don't understand is that like. You know, he was pretty nice in that speech. I changed my opinion about that guy. <laughs> that to me just seems nuts. All right, folks. That is actually pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts. Uh, um, we're going to take a quick break, head into the uh, fun half. And uh, when we do, we don't have a uh, post roll. No. No, no post rolls. Um, you nailed them. Uh, and here is uh, uh, what's going to happen. We're going to be um, uh, live streaming tonight, 8.30 p.m., we will uh, have a show tomorrow. It will be an interview that uh, I think that we have pre-recorded. So we will have a new uh, show for you tomorrow. Uh